So as you quickly discover, as you start to watch football, a large part of the sport is about the offense uh, trying to do things that the defense won't expect because they're trying to keep the defense off balance and because they want the offense wants to have that big play so they can gain a lot of yards um, and even score. So this means that there's a great deal of preparation that will go into the different formations, which is the way that the offense will line up and the directions uh, then during the play, which way is the running back going to run, what route will the receivers run uh, to do all this. And so while you actually gain the yardage and while the, all the action occurs during the play, which is after the ball is snapped, the team has to be, the offense has to be lined up uh, correctly before the ball is snapped to make sure that they'll be able to execute that play that they have designed. So let's look at the things that the offense is allowed and not allowed to do before the ball is even snapped. And so whenever you watch a game, it might be confusing with guys running back and forth and people moving, um, and some people aren't allowed to move and others are. Um, so let's go over um, all the things that they can do in this video. So the first thing is these three stipulations is that at the snap the offense must have seven or more players on the line. Uh, all players who aren't on the line must be at least one yard behind it and then no player can be out of bounds which that last one makes a lot of sense you can only imagine what a team tried to do uh, that they had to put that rule in there but so that's pretty easy to understand, but let's look at these these first two, and particularly this first one. What does um, what does the line mean? What does this mean to have a player on the line? So a player of Team A is on his line, and in this situation, Team A is just uh, what the rule book, the NFL rule book, uh, is calling the team on offense. Team B will then be the team on defense. So player of team A is on the line when his shoulders are facing team B's goal line. So you have to be kind of looking at your goal line, where you're trying to go. You can't be turned around or turned sideways. Um, two, if he is the snapper, then no part of his body is to be beyond the line. So we know that already because everybody has to be beyond the line of scrimmage or behind the line screw is just because you're snapping the ball doesn't mean uh, you get to be in front of it and then if you are not snapping if you're not the center which is be the majority of the players um, his helmet must break the vertical plane that passes through the belt line of the snapper and so remember here we need seven of these guys um, to be on the line so we'd have one would obviously be the snapper and then the other six need to be um, up pretty close to the line, um, basically is what we're saying here. So let's look at this uh, with a little, with a few photos. So we can see here our uh, line of scrimmage is where the ball is. So that line's coming across here, and so then we have the the belt of our snapper so obviously this guy here in the middle with the ball see how he has positioned himself behind the ball because he can't be uh, in front of it and then the angles a little off in this picture but you can see here that most of these guys uh, do are in front of that belt line of the snapper so all of these guys all the offensive linemen uh, here five offensive linemen including the center and then we have our tight end and then the our wide receivers feet are there so these uh, this team has seven guys up on the line uh, just like they are required to uh, another picture I think this was a game that the uh, Navy football team was playing and in this situation it looks like they are kind of pushing the boundaries here because if we have our line right here, our line of scrimmage, and then the belt of the center um, is coming across here, 
and so again the, the angle of the picture is a little off but they have obviously this receiver here is one two three uh, the center and then four five I guess this uh, guy in the end he he seems like he's uh, behind the line so if I was the referee on this play I might be uh, tempted to call that a penalty but then we do have this receiver down here um, so then and then you can see behind maybe not with all these lines over top of it but the uh, center is here and then right behind him is the quarterback although keep in mind the quarterback does not have to be on the line because each team will have 11 players and so only seven of those 11 need to be on that line so those are the basically what you have to fulfill uh, before the ball is snapped and you might be confused about um, if you watch the game and you've seen players on the offense moving around before the snap what is that all about so we'll look at that one um, how players can and can't move in the next video